guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ring 2, episode 12 of D4D Day First Mix. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. What's up, Mooney? Oh. Are you serious, Rinku? Well, she has the potential. I mean, I feel like she'll be more, um, Sakura from Zombie Land Saga. You know, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cause, I mean, Mooney. Well, no, we haven't heard Mooney rap either. You think we have, especially with, you know, her, um, her song Awesome, but do we count that? I don't think so. Kyoko? Okay, look. Kyoko, we're getting 20 tickets. Like two, almost 200 pulls of 10 plus 1, and I'm not using them until the last day. You and my last two mermaid girls, you're coming home. No matter what, I swear to God. Please, that's all I want. That's it. I just want initial freaking Kyoko. An initial freaking, um. Not Rinku. What is her name? Rika. And, um. Marika. There we go. <laughs> and then maybe permanent Mar uh, Marika. No, permanent, uh, Rinka from that Hot Springs event. That's it. That's all I want. Give me that. And I'll be happy. So, do you want to rap with Mooney or Maho or... Yeah. Exactly. Well, heck, then this might be their character song? Mm. <laughs> but you watched it with her. You were on the phone with her. <laughs> sort of.
Yeah. Oh, Mooney, don't be mad. Hmm. Well, why doesn't everyone just go? Mooney. <laughs> oh, it's nice. You can just see when he's getting so annoyed with her. <laughs> Girl, but you level 20! Oh, God. It happens. Aww. Plus to the fact is Mooney doesn't like to be, you know, lonely. Oh, she is just knocked out. Give her, you know, some food, a good bath, and that's it. Oh my god, Maho. It doesn't look like it. You have bags in your eyes. Huh. Yeah, but you still need sleep. Oh god. Hmm. Good job, Ray. <laughs> well, 
because, you know, you both kind of agreed. Yeah, and it makes the most sense for you two to wrap it together. Mm hmm. <laughs> you see Moony face, we're like, the fuck? No! No! <laughs> Just. You know, make it up. It's just like a practice run. Uh-huh. <laughs> you tried, babe. Go, Manny! Yeah, you need to have skill. Well, I mean, since Mooney knows her ish, maybe. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can just see her getting more and more angry. Come here, Co oh, there you are, Cody. Scared the crap out of me. Come here. I got you. Oh, game over. Of course she is.
Well, hmm. Well, they had a fight. Maybe talk it out first. Mooney! Moni. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. so precious. Oh my God. Of course. Hmm? Of course it would be. <laughs> Mm. Keep going, you got this.
No. No, no. really good episode i do like the fact that they made up or talked about their issues through a rub i think that's really different yes it did give me vibes to freaking zombie land saga between sakura and what's her face but i liked it i kind of hope the song is in the game i mean it's now three o'clock and i should log in before i watch my next show but i'm not um but it was good. I mean, honestly, I think, as I said last week with um, episode 11, we needed this. They needed this because they haven't really, they've had, like, fight moments, but not to the point where Rinku has cried. And it, it's upsetting to see her cry. And so, I mean, like, any of these characters, whether it's the girls who I am who are my main or the ones one characters that I like on the side or whatever but seeing her cry it's just so upset she's so freaking adorable and I love her even though some people can say and I've said it too she can sometimes be a teeny tiny bit annoying not that bad but you feel bad for Rinku and Muni especially you know because they haven't seen each other in a very long time and you know eventually when she came back I think maybe Ringu thought it was just going to be exactly like before, but because of the fact is they're both high schoolers and they're older now, there is going to be a little bit of issues and differences and stuff like that. And there's a point where it kind of felt like, you know, Mooney was a little jealous that she was spending time with other people and not her, but I'm glad they were able to make up. Oh, of course the last episode would be called Green Mix. One thing that I'm also kind of hoping um, for this final episode of season one, that Rondo, Mermaid, and maybe also Lyrical Lily all make like one final appearance. Even though for if Lyrical Lily shows up next week, it'll be their first and final appearance of season one until we get season two. Um, I don't know if they'll do it. It really, at the end of the day, just depends on them because, of course, yes, this anime is done. Um... But the biggest thing is now speaking, you know, a little bit into the future. We're kind of looking at season two. I think however this show is going to end next week, that may give us like a preview of what season two could be like going into the problems, especially, you know, maybe they get a manager next week. Maybe uh, Rochelle's character who is managing Fonta Maiden might want to manage them. I mean, it's a possibility. You don't know who really is going to be there. Um, maybe even Nana Mizuki, who, the girl who works in the cafe, may want to manage them as well, even though she's kind of been gone from the spotlight for a really long time. And I kind of hope that maybe if they don't address it in the final episode of season one, that is okay. But I really think they need to address the situation of why Nana Mizuki's character and Rochelle's character, um, disbanded. It could have been because of a fight, whatever, anything. Like I said, if it doesn't happen in the last episode of season one, it's one of those big major things that needs to kind of happen in season two or season three. I feel like they might put it in the game, especially with the, the road to D uh, yeah, the D4 Fest, I think that's what it's called. It, it would make the most sense, but of course, we're still waiting for that because that thing still says coming soon on that game. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 12 of D4DJ First Mix. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the final episode. Bye, guys.